All right, I'm just gonna rotate my tires today, but I figure while I'm doing that, I'm gonna talk about something that's been bothering me <laughs> for almost a week. That's when the news came out about this uh, uranium found at Heathrow. Uh, it's a very funny subject to me. Let's talk about it a little bit. So the biggest problem with this whole thing is, is that it's predicated off of everyone's ignorance. And the problem is, is that the ignorance isn't only with the people reporting on the news, it's also with security professionals. Uh, most of the time they're trying to kind of uh, deflate the fears of people. But in this case, a lot of them seem to be fanning those flames. This could have been used in a radiological sense in the same way as, for example, that the radi radiological attack on Litvinenko in 2006. Have to get my high lift out of here. So, I mean, these people think that they can just control the flow of uranium everywhere, which is hilarious. Presumably uranium is not that easy to come by, um, and there should be, one would think, some kind of um, sort of global, you know, I don't know, terror watch squad or something to keep an eye on where all the uranium is, shouldn't there? Well, absolutely. The you know, you can find uranium in seawater, right? So keep that in mind when you think you can just close off all these sites. So the reason why this bothers me so much is because it's just <laughs> ignorant people saying really ignorant stuff about things they have no idea about. And I feel like I'd shed a little light on this whole thing so, um, you know, people can better stay informed. I mean, they were trying to say that there was a radiological threat with this uranium at this airport. That's just simply not true. There are actually probably things that are in the airport uh, right now that are radioactive and that are made with uranium. Now, because that it's in uh, an ore form, you know, the raw form, uh, it doesn't make a difference. You know, it's like someone saying that they found um, some potting soil or some fertilizer and uh, now they're investigating if there's a bomb. It's, it's actually further from that. Uh, <laughs> it's like finding the phosphorus ore uh, from a mine that would make phosphate be used in fertilizer and someone found a piece of that ore and thinking that now there's going to be a bomb, which is hilarious. This whole thing kind of reminds me of the ridiculousness of people finding out that there was uranium at the visitor center at Grand Canyon. Now people equally, uh, probably not equally, but they freaked out about that too, saying, oh, how much were people exposed to and uh, all this other stuff and workers. And they even sent these two people over there in full suits to check the area for residual uranium or whatever. And it's just like, why, why put that in people's minds? It is completely unnecessary and it sends the wrong message. Because even if uranium was to be used in a dirty bomb, it's like the worst material to use in a dirty bomb. It's just not very radioactive. So anyway, that's what I'm just trying to do. I'm just trying to shed a little light on this whole subject. So what I have a problem with is like these people that are 
heads of security agencies talking to you know news agencies about this threat and saying that like um, you know uranium could be used in a poisoning attack none unlike what happened in 2006 with that Russian national that got poisoned not really he got poisoned but it was radiation poisoning uh, that was back in 2006 and uh, it's funny this guy was trying to say it was a nerve agent attack which it wasn't uh, it was uh, a radioactive isotope of polonium 210 that uh, was slipped into his tea and he drank it and this guy died from radiation poisoning. So it's not a nerve agent, but it's just funny that someone in the security forces would make such a screw up of that type of magnitude. So I just want to kind of put that out there because there's nothing, there's no threat. People buying uranium, it's like they're buying hundreds of pounds of it. Yeah, and if they had a bunch of centrifuges, <laughs> then yes, you'd probably have some problems there. But if someone's going to try and make a dirty bomb out of uranium, that's just, it's ridiculous. First time I've had to do that before. to talk about that for a second because I think it's important that people know the difference between sensationalism and facts and the fact is, is that if anyone wants uranium it's very easy for them to get it but it is far from a dangerous substance or a poison that others try and make it seem like that's what I'm trying to get out there I just want people to be better educated about this subject so they can kind of see past these lies. So what I'm trying to say is just don't believe everything you hear on the news, especially when it's concerning radiation or uranium or something like along those lines, because these people that are in charge, a lot of them seem like they have no idea what they're talking about. That's a huge problem. You know, and I like to see like <laughs> better informed leaders informing the public better about real dangers, not just made up ones. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just, uh, you know, don't listen to everything. Don't be so scared. You know, it'll benefit you in the long run. It'll benefit me in the long run is if I can get this lug nut on here. Sheesh. And yes, I still need to do the other side. I like the hand tighten these so I don't strip them.
There we go. Ah. So I would have come out with this whole thing about this uranium and Heathrow Airport thing a little earlier, but I was kind of feeling a little sick over the weekend, so I decided to wait. Well, I just, I hope that you learned something new today about, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess the media when reporting on radiological subjects. It was just funny because when this report first came out, they were trying to make it sound like that they found like, uh, you know, a bunch of kilograms of uranium, but as the story progressed, it flipped the other way into, they found traces of uranium on metal bars. So, it's funny how that all happens, right? So anyway, I hope this was a little bit of a learning lesson for some of you. Uh, just to listen to what people are saying, don't just buy into the hype or the fear because there are so many people out there that are claiming to be experts and they really aren't. I'm no expert, uh, I openly admit that. But I do my research to find out what's uh, true and what isn't. And what these people were talking about was just false. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, like it, maybe leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. And of course, I'm gonna torque all these down when I'm all done, so don't worry about it.